Hello, this is Richard Arfston. This is another one of my little creations using boxes. I really liked playing with wooden blocks when I was a kid. And that tells you how old I am. I didn't have any Legos when I was a kid. Anyways, um, I used to like to watch uh, Star Trek. And uh, one of the favorite characters was, uh, I kept call, I kept remembering her as 7 of 11, but I guess I looked that up. She's actually 7 of 9. Anyways, uh, she never smiled. She's a good looking blonde. Fantastic chest. Uh, but really the most fascinating thing was this piece of sculpture she had on her face. So, uh, but anyhow, she, she was part of a... Uh, I don't know if you call them androids or what, but a, a race of people that were half mechanical and half human. And they lived in, I just looked it up, hives. I thought they were colonies, okay? So anyways, uh, uh, Flash Gordon and I travel at night He's my childhood hero. We do dream time adventures, go to different parts of the universe. Anyways, um, so what, this one part of the universe has got a whole lot of colonies or hives or whatever, okay? It seems that our planet must have, uh, I don't know, disappeared, got blown up overheated, whatever, but they had to start living out in space, just like maybe we'll have to do if we screw up this planet that we live on, which we're aiming to do, and all in the name of chasing a big buck, you know. So uh, I made a series of uh, these uh, square things that are kind of interesting. And I think they also work for uh, for business um, because the squares can re represent anything. You know, they could be divisions of the company. They could be countries all over the world. You know. Anyways, a conglomerate. These could be relatively small. You know, I mean, I've been to Europe and they got sculptures in front of high rises and they're not very big. They're only maybe six feet tall, you know. But they have some meaning, you know, at least I think they do. And uh, maybe that's part of the mystique of having a piece of sculpture. What does it mean? Does it have some secretive meaning like uh, the handshake for the one of these... Uh, exclusive clubs, whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, whole idea is to set some ambiance for uh, whoever possesses it. So anyways, there's about five or six of these different designs. I, I kind of uh, work in a series, not that I want to work in a series, it's just that I work until I get another idea and then I have to move on otherwise I, I forget the new idea. So otherwise it could be that I just had a lot of these blocks all cut up. I just take them out of the drawer, put them in my, in my on the top of my table and start gluing them together. I don't know, you know. I just have to make stuff. I'm, I'm compelled to build things. So I'm, I'm a box maker among other things. If you're interested in uh, finding out about pricing and other things, uh, 
go to sachiart.com, Richard Arveston. You can see it up above there. There's all kinds of stuff there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.